Welcome. In this lecture, we would understand what is a narrow money vis-a-vis -vis a broad money. So when we say narrow money, we usually talk about the money which is M1 and M2 as you can see here and broad money is M3 and M4. Of this, we say M3 is the most commonly used money in money supply terms. M4 is the least liquid because most of them is kept as deposits, as bonds. M1 is the most liquid form of money. Now M1 as we said is the currency notes, currency coins that are into circulation along with the de demand deposits for the bank, with the bank. All this M1 money along with the saving deposits with the post office savings would be called as M2 money. This M1 money along with the time deposits is what is known as M3 money. And M4 money is the M3 money plus the total deposits with the post office saving organization except the NSC that is the national savings certificate. So this money supply similar to money demand is a kind of stock variable that we understand. And the total stock of money into circulation among the public at a particular point of time is what is known as money supply. It's a very very important concept and therefore we need to understand the importance of narrow money, broad money, the most liquid, the most least liquid money into circulation, a very very important topic for your economics. Stay tuned, we would be bringing many such important topics for you. Have a wonderful day ahead.